All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Dragons. We're continuing our Game of Thrones themed decks here today. We have played Abzan Treasure uh, for the Iron Bank representing them. We've had the Orzhov Aristocrats for our, our House Lancer deck. And now we have our Dragon deck dragons of course are a big part of game of thrones so we are playing our dragon deck here for our dragon deck we're going with grixis dragons um oh is that a spoiler alert saying that there's dragons in game of thrones whoops well yeah spoiler there i guess um <laughs> if you don't know about that so, you know, we're going with our Grixis Dragons because we want to be able to play Nickel Bolas. That's, that's the main reason why we are playing the three colors that we're playing because this is one of, you know, if not best, the second best. It's one of the two best dragons at, at the very least in standard. Our two best are the two that we have four of here with Nickel Bolas and Niv Mizzet. So these two cards are incredibly good. And so we're basically just wanting to play four of each of those cards and then just kind of fill out the deck uh, around it. So... That's what we got going on here. Oh, let's let's change our avatar. There's not a Nicol Bolas avatar, which is lame. There's a Sarkin one, right? Yeah. He told me I would find you here. Sarkin's a dragon. Uh, good dragon avatar. So here we go, Grixis dragons. <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't have to justify playing Bolas. It's Nickel Bolas. Same with Nim Mizzet. Those cards are great. And we got our dragons here, the two that we were talking about before. Nickel Bolas, Niv Mizzet. That means we are keeping our hand. Got the one removal spell to slow down our opponent also. Well, not necessarily a good hand against dragons. Are you doing your dragon thing? Here. Do your dragon impression. You can attack this thing. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, guy's getting into it. Oh. It's not Team of Reclamation. So, casting that so that we can just untap and play our bolus on an empty board. Oh, I don't, I don't know the names of the dragons in Game of Thrones. I've, I've seen them before, and you know, I've heard them on the show and stuff, but I, I don't know them off the top of my head. What are, what are some of the names? Like, what should I? I could call these by dragon names. Drogon. Uh, Ragel, Ragel, Ragel. So Drogon is black and red. Ragel is green and bronze, and Viserion is white and gold. I think Viserion was the one that died, I believe. I could be wrong there. Wow. That is rude. All 
Our opponent did kick it, so they, they kicked the Shivan Fire to kill one dragon and then also copied it to kill another. Teamer, creature, mid range with reclamation. Don't draw more cards. Drawing more cards is bad. Wow, why, the, why would they play that extra land? You need to ditch that land to insight. What are you doing, opponent? You don't, you don't have a land. If Mezzet finishes it off. It's <laughs> very good. Only you can present, prevent forest drops. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if this is a thief matchup or not. I don't know. They're real creature heavy. So I'm not sure how many duresses and gates I really want. Could see Growth Chamber Guardian taking over here. I think I'm playing this. Wait, get this all born out of here. Yeah, let's try this. Oh wait, Elgerborn is really good against Niv Mizzet. Hmm. I think I should play one soot for Growth Chamber Guardian. I could see that. Yeah, I think that the from the next set that playing the new RAL and double expansion combo, I think that could be viable. I don't Yeah, like I think it's you, basically what you want to do with something like that is you want to just kind of have a blue red plus whatever control deck that can just use all of those cards regularly. Uh, maybe honestly probably teamer with wilderness reclamation and those kind of cards. And you just sometimes uh, have that combo that kills your opponent. Oh, you were probably asking me what song this is before this. You don't activate you don't need to activate Rao with the combo. You just have to have 
You have to have another spell. Is this a cast? That's an ETB. I guess I just need to throw the, the blade wing in front of the mystic or whatever. They just missed a land drop, right? They are... Yeah, they do. so they don't have any lands. So they'll have to go to discard before I will. Attempting that in case they have a way to get it back and use my mana better. So I can either have double blade wing or just play a 5-5 five five Hellkite. I think we do double blade wing. Plus we get the double animation. So that's cool. But they could do their thing, like, these die to Shivan Fires and Lava Coils and stuff like that. 5-5 five, five Hellkite is harder for our opponent to kill. Go Durgans! Karox Blade Wing. What? That's so rude. We lost a dragon. They took our dragon. What What do you think this is? Game of Thrones? Stop taking my dragons. Stop taking my dragons. So unfortunately our opponent cannot flip Bolas. I would love for them to just flip Bolas. Some people just do that randomly. Good news is Skargon Hellkite, if you know if they've if they've already used all their yoink spells, Skargon Hellkite will just take over this game. Go, Hellcat, go. 
why hold the why not hold the land to make them wonder be because it's I mean I'm I'm gonna be tapping out anyway, but if we just keep hitting land drops we can maybe activate a Hellkite a third time. So we wanna just hit our land drops for that. Ugh. Hey, that's cool. Stop. This Crisis card is messed up. Yeah, I need my ritual set, don't I? Still have seven cards in hand. It's gonna be a tough matchup for us. These entrancing melodies. They have crushing canopies also. And just expansion that. Yeah, frilled mystic available and everything here. Definitely need this Eldritch Reborn. Let's get that thing in there. Could see playing Coil with my opponent having Phoenix. It's going to be tough, though. They just keep stealing all my dragons. I think I need more negates for, like, melodies and stuff in the late game. Less duress, more negate. So should I play one Soot or one Coil instead of this Duress? Hey, Scott Moss, welcome. Saturday song. So it does work for Hydras, yes. If we draw a red source and another land, this hand is incredible. If we can have Sarkin on three and then play niv -Mizzet on four... It's incredible. We have to have a red source in our first three. I think we can do it. I'm feeling it. We got a red source on top. I want to power this Sarkin avatar. Red source on top. Got to power up these cards. The second one. Red source on top. Our red source right here. Ugh, really? Double blade wing? Sarkin, you're killing me. Killing me, Sarkin. Killing me. Come on, one more red. Come on, opponents tapped out. We can do it. Come on, deck.
Who are you? Madness? <laughs> what madness? Dragon does not lose. Okay. Two more lands. Like, this contempt's just not resolving, right? So I'm kind of assuming that this contempt's not resolving. Didn't get there. Should just be frilled mystics. Sarkin let us down there. Couldn't get that other land. Sarkin let us down. hands well, at least we know we're hitting our land drops this time these hands are killing me no that was not a popular deck our opponent was playing How do you just own like just draw multiple lands whenever you have the six lander? Whenever you have like the two lands, you just draw all the spells. Uh. This looks to be another Niv Mizzet deck that we're playing against here. Usually treasure map saying Niv Mizzet. At least we drew the negate. So we have one card in our hand. So yeah, I didn't want to just get stuck on lands like we did that last game, so kept the six lander. But didn't work out.
All right, with Dragon Swords resolving, means that if we if we draw Niv Mizzets, they won't be able to counter Niv Mizzet, and we'll be able to, you know, at least cycle them also. Hmm. Okay. Definitely saving the gate for it's a fairy. That's what I'm playing right now. You know, they just have the one for one spells. You know, it doesn't doesn't kill us kind of thing. I could see trying to protect the Sarkin, because this is does more for us than you know, like this draws us cards. So this could be something that I could see myself negate. Like, you know, using a negate to protect. I fight with I know what I'm doing. They could have crackling Drake, so I'd rather save. I'd rather save Lava Coil than Ritual of Soot. Just another sweeper here. Oh, wow. They're gonna let me draw two with these lava coils. All right, well, Niv Mizzet did great. Draw us lots of cards. Thank you, Niv. All right, so we have three, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten mana. Play Bolas and get Nivmiza back. I did not think we were going to be winning this, but our opponent just had nothing. There had a bunch of crappy removal spells. Oh, wait, my Nivmiza is exiled. Crap. Well, I guess I was getting Hellkite. Okay, it's not bad. Make it a 5-5. Five five. Good enough. I'm not sure if I actually want this Eldritch Reborn here or not. So this is 64. Sixty one. Sixty 
No, yeah, give me that Elish Reborn. Yeah, they have their own Niv-Mezzets. Yeah, give me that. All right, here we go. Sarkin, Niv, then Duress. I just wanted to flip Bolas, basically. And at the time, I was thinking I could get a, a Niv with Bolas. I forgot about the Coil Exiling. Um, but I, I just wanted Bolas flipped and in play. Well, our hand looks pretty strong. It just, like, basically getting rid of a lot of my opponent's resources. Alright, we need land. So, playing the Thought Erasure to help us hit land drops. Treasure map. Man, I just got rid of that Bedevil. Hey, there's another one. Um... I guess I'm playing this again. Looking for a land here. There we go. Alright, they scryed it to the top. Like maybe a chemist's insight. Please don't play Teferi here. Thank you. I don't think I don't think I really discard any of these. Like I could discard the negate, I guess. No. We no, I don't think I do. Yeah, I think I just keep all these. Alright, land drop. Perfect. Don't doubt my methods. Perfect. No. They are coming. All right, we just need them to brick for a turn. And I am playing the land here because I want to, like, if we draw another land, I want to be able to. Act to... <laughs> You call Flip that Bolas. A hit? We need them to brick. I mean, we're in a good spot because we're Nicole gonna be getting a Bolas, Bolas in play next turn with all the Reborn. And I do not want to negate that because I do not want to give them the spell. Huh. Wait, do I get to fairy? Nah. Alright, they scribed both those to the bottom.
Yeah, if I would have talked treasure map, or yeah, exactly. If I would have talked to the Niv with the treasure map, they would have just drawn it. All right, and we hit the land drop. Finally, so now we can go get to Fairy and Tuck Niv since we have a Niv already. Let's let's take it. And this is over. <laughs> so many dragons, just Niv Mizzets flying everywhere. They attack with the Niv Mizzet, we block with the Niv Mizzet, and we play another Niv Mizzet, they play another Niv Mizzet. Alright, we got our 20 gems for that last pack, and as you can see here, we got our Vault progress after that win. So let's crack this Vault open. And get... Oh, we got the... Vaunted gold card. So we got three uncommon wild cards, a rare wild card, a mythic rare wild card, and the ultra rare, the gold card. What a vault, man, getting that gold card. That is awesome. You can use the yeah, the gold card, that's something you can use for an entire playset of rares. That's what you can do with the gold card. Trade it in for a playset. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no such thing as the gold card. Yeah, you got the Visa gold card. Nah, it was just a little visual glitch. It was just a regular rare, rare wild card. <laughs> if I would have clicked on the, if I would have clicked on it, it would have turned into the rare wild card. High five, Hawkeye. Okay. Oh, high five. Yeah. Okay. What's going on over here? Are there any Vivians over there? Nope, no Vivians. Alright, so we're gonna have to bedevil that biogenic ooze. I wouldn't mind drawing a ritual set here. I mean, I could go with a bolus. No, it's Bedevil. So they do not have white mana right now for either Deputy or for Knight of Autumn. Ow. I'm gonna hope they don't draw white mana for a turn. Cause I, like, we're dying here, we're at 11. So I wanna get this thing down to be able to block. Hope they don't draw white mana this turn. And then next turn we can Thought Razor away the deputy. No white mana, oh. Brutal. All right, can we draw Ritual Sit? Ritual set one time. Hmm. That doesn't save me if they attack out with everything. All 
Alright, so we're going to have them draw their card. And then after they draw their card, cast down this deputy. Make them discard that card. Yeah, we just need our opponent to be, I don't know, scared or something, not attack out. I'm not a big fan of Is it Drake's. I think I I think I kinda like Arclight Phoenix more. Like Is it Phoenix more than Drake's. But I don't know. I I myself play lots of decks that I have Drake's in mind quite a bit, so I usually have a pretty good win rate just kind of across the board against Drake's. Because um, I, I do take the deck pretty seriously, so I usually have a good sideboard and everything for that, for that deck. So there were Bant stuff. No, Bant. Yeah, they were Bant stuff. Oh, yeah. Arclight Phoenix is really expensive in paper. That's a good point. Yeah, Drake's is probably better. Like, especially when you're considering cost. I play Thief against non-creature decks. I think this game I'm going to just give them lots of mana and have removal spells for the other things. Other things like that. I hope this just gets deputy attention and not some other removal spell. You know, like Vivian in particular would be really, really bad for us. Oh no. <laughs> they ditched the deputy. Oh no. Okay, good. Wait, they're missing land drops? Oh, man. That was just a great draw. They missed their land drop. Let's just get rid of those things. Just double stone rain. this. Craving that. And one more land. We get to flip Bolas. And end this game. Alright, got the land. Basically, like, they could have, like, a Harpooner that kills Bolas. It's just safer over here. And I was going to be ticking up and drawing two cards. You know, just at that point, you know, we draw two cards. Next turn, we draw another two cards. Um, it's just too many cards for the opponents to deal with. And uh, let's try this again. <laughs> hey, we're... We we're down a game. We're going to game three. It's it's even. 
We're not really bullying. We're we're tied up one to one. It's a tie game. Okay, let's get this Orzhov Aristocrats up on YouTube. It's almost ready. Y'all think I can keep this? We just have to draw one black source, and then we have Ritual of Soot, because we have Dragon's Horde on three, then we have Soot on four. We just have to draw any black source. Yeah, Zerf introduced me to the Arkells. We can keep this. Draw one black source. This is the same thing that happened to our other game three, though. I kept the the two lander where we needed to draw a third land, and, and we didn't. And we lost. So I guess this could happen again. Our deck really hates us. We are on the draw. Three draws, no land. So both of our losses are the exact same thing. Keep two landers where if we draw the third land... We're good. And we don't draw the third land. Uh, dragons. Disappointing two game threes with the losses there. And yes, I could mulligan. Yeah. <clears throat> We haven't done well with this deck in a while, um, unfortunately. It's been been a long time since we've done well. Like obviously those those two games are, those two game threes are, just, um, not so good for us. Treasure maps could be a thing. Treasure maps would go in for like dragon hordes and sarkins basically instead. But I don't know. It it basically every time we play this deck, it it would just be better as Grixis control with. Bolas and Niv Mizzet and cut Sarkin, cut Varix, cut other, or cut, cut Scargan, cut Varix, cut Sarkin, cut Dragon's Horde, and just make it Grixis control and, and playing Bolas and Niv Mizzet, basically. It kinda always make it would always make the deck better. Um so Yeah. But we're playing our Game of Thrones themed deck here, so I wanted to play Grixis Dragons for one last time. Uh, before War of the Spark comes out. And it was partly my, you know, it was partly my fault there for losing the games two and three. I kept, I kept really greedy hands there. Or sorry, losing the two game threes. I kept really greedy hands, both of our losses game three. One, we had the, the two mana and we need a, a third land that was a, a red source for Sarkin. Because then we play Sarkin on three, and then we'd start casting other stuff after Sarkin. Didn't get there. This time, we need a third land for Dragon's Horde, and preferably a black land so that we'd be able to have our Ritual of Sud. Didn't get there. Um, 
least last time before yeah so this will be the last time drag play grixis dragons before um war of the spark but all uh, right I may be playing it on the sub battle stream on Saturday. You know, it'll be it'll be in, on the wheel and see if we spin it on Saturday during the sub battle stream. But yeah, last few times we played it, haven't been super impressed with these other dragons. I do think Niv Mizzet's really good though, and and I could see just playing Niv in in a Grixis control deck and maybe with Treasure Map then uh, going that way and just playing Grixis control Treasure Map, uh, search for Kanta and and so on. Maybe like. Like just Eldritch Reborns and Angrats, um, or or Rao, and that kind of stuff instead of these other dragons. All right, so that's uh, Grixis Dragons. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching. Hawkeye says thanks as well, and I will see you for the next video.